Hi friends, it's Miss Tracy. Welcome back to our sensory time. Okay, so last week we painted our snow and this week I decided I wanna do something with my painted snow. So I painted my snow and now I'm going to show you what it looks like. And we're gonna make snow muffins. Now, you don't have to paint your snow. I just particularly thought it looked really beautiful last week. So I painted it a little bit again so it looks extra colorful and extra fun. And we are going to make some snow muffins with it. So if you have a big spoon or an ice cream scoop, you're gonna want one of those. And you're also going to want a muffin tin. Okay, mine's an old muffin tin. Here's my muffin tin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to angle my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. You're not going to see my face the whole time, but that's okay. My face isn't important. We're, what's important is what we're going to make. So set my camera back up. Down to my belly again. Bring my snow over. See, I colored my snow. Put it here and then I have my muffin tin, and my scoop. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick out some beautiful snow and I'm gonna scoop it up. Now you don't have to use your scoop. You can 100% use your hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the muffin tin. I can make one with my hands too. All right, I'm gonna put it right in there. Scoop another one. Scoop another one. These are like tie-dye snow muffins. They really are so pretty. Scooping all the beautiful colors off of the top. If my color didn't go all the way through my snow and that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Scoop my muffins. This might take you longer. I use a snow scoop or a, a snow scoop, an ice cream scoop a lot for different things. I use it when I'm filling my muffin tins. I use it when I'm scooping ice cream. I use it sometimes to ball my watermelon. You can scoop your watermelon out into balls like this. I use my, my um, ice cream scooper for that too, for bigger ones. Um, and I've had a lot of practice, but with a lot of practice, you guys will be really good at scooping too. So keep practicing, keep using your hands to make things and scoop things and poke things and um, you know, lacing cards, stringing beads, chop, 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 gonna chop up my snow. Add a little bit of snow to this guy over here. You're not looking all right, look at that. Look how pretty my snow muffins came out. You can do whatever you want with them. Now that they're in here, they could be muffins. They don't have to be muffins. You can put the snow in here. I'm gonna put a hole in the middle of all of my muffins. They're so pretty. Post some pictures of your muffins if you um, can. I would love to see what your muffins look like. Look, I put holes in all of my muffins. You know what I wanna do now? I really just wanna squish it down. Squish it down in there. I just want to and that's okay. It feels good in my hand to push in the snow. I like how it feels. Push, push, flatten it right down in there as I can. This is our sensory video. Gotta get down and dirty. Get our hands in that smell. Push, push, push. I can hear the crunching when I do it. You push it right down into the pan. 
you'll be able to hear the crunching too. So you should, you should press yours down so you can hear the crunching. You hear that? Just like when you walk in the snow, crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, now they're all pressed in, look at that. I think I can add some more snow to them. I can make my muffins a little bigger. Oh, I can. Not gonna be as colorful because my color is gonna be on the bottom now, but that's okay. You don't have to have color at all. I'm really excited to put more snow on there because I want to crunch it down again. That was my favorite part was crunching the snow down actually. I think the noise is really fun to hear. Crunch, crunch, crunch. A little bit more in all of them. A little bit more. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go. Hear that crunch, you can feel that crunch, you can feel it squishing down, pack, Packing it in. Your little hands might be able to get more fingers in there, but there's not a lot of room for my big hands. So I'm just using my thumb, but you can use, I can use my fingers too, I guess. Hands are getting very cold. Make sure you wear gloves if you're gonna do this. Look, my fingers are getting red. Very cold. Snow is obviously cold. Make sure you put your gloves on to do this activity. Just in case. They can always get washed if you get a little color on them. Get wet, they can go in the dryer or they can sit on a vent. They can hang in your bathroom to dry. Yeah, look at that. Muffin time. Ooh -wee. Okay, you know what I was thinking though? I was thinking you know, my muffins are all beautiful in here, but I wonder if I can get them back in the pan. Oh dear, that was a brilliant idea. Ooh, it was, you could have scooped it back out, but I wanted them to stay in little circles. Can you see the circles, my little muffin circles? Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Got a little counting in there, we've got 12 muffins. Count, you can count them by color too. One, two, three pink muffins. Let's see how many green ones we have. Some of them have multiple colors in them, but the ones that have the most of that color, we'll count those ones. So I got one, two, three, four green ones. What about blue? Does anybody see blue? You do? All right, let's count the blue ones. I see one, two, three blue ones. You might have a different number of colors. You might not have colors, so you can count with me. Also, what about our yellow, like the sunshine or lemons? Do you see it? Yep, it's hiding up in the front, isn't it? One, two, two yellow ones. So pretty. Well, friends, I think that is all. You can continue playing with your snow muffins. You can get more snow. You can keep playing with this. This is going to eventually turn to more ice um, when it gets warm. Mine's turning into ice. It's becoming more clear. Um, and it's actually melting into water, too. But that's OK, because water is also fun to play with. Um, you can still use your scoop, you can still use your pan, you might want to take and um, put a towel underneath of your stuff to not get everything all wet. 
Um, but you can keep playing with this snow or you can get fresh snow and keep the fun going. All right, so that's my sensory video for today. I will see you next week with another one. Bye guys, have a great day.